What's up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here, and today we're unboxing the BAM box. So we got this one really early compared to all our other boxes, um, but the theme for it is I have absolutely no clue, um, but probably something Star Wars with the new movie and stuff, I'm sure. And by the look of the little booklet they gave us, there is some Star Wars on there, so I see Darth Vader, Red Sonja, looks like Bucky from the Captain America movies, and uh, Boba Fett. So any of those are decent. And we got our paper. So first up we have a like velvety bag or something. I hope it's a sword. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Ooh, they're knives. <laughs> so it's for pretty cool. I don't know. There we go. I don't know how you open it. So they're these like knives. They have a string around them and the like hole. It says perfect points, so I'm assuming these are maybe throwing knives. Right? Are they real knives? Oh, they. It's got a blade on it, on each end, so I can cut people. And we have two of them, and this one has a little point. I don't know if this one did too. Yeah, that little points, but they came off, so you wouldn't like stab something. But it's really cool. I don't know what these are for. I'm sure we'll find out when I read the book thing and stuff. But it's pretty cool. But it seems very. Dangerous. Not hey, having something to put them in. Throw one over here. No, just kidding. <laughs> Sticking. Bro's gonna have a knife stuck in his hand. That so that's sound really. Nice. So that was a cool. Oh, this is cool too. So the pin for this month, which is awesome, especially for me, it's a Captain America. And I don't know if you can see, but it says "Hey, girl" on the bottom. I don't know why exactly, but he's doing his little salute and stuff. So I'm a huge Captain America fan. If you didn't know by now and so that's awesome that that's the pin we got and so usually they have multiple pins and stuff so I'm sh sure you could have got probably three or four different ones so I'm really glad we got the Captain America so next up we have a certificate of authenticity um, for this um, Darth Vader down number one which we got in another box I don't know if it had the exact same art on it but it was this exact issue and everything <coughs> Um, but it says it's uh, dy dynamic forces. It's whatever this is from. Not exactly sure. But it's still cool. Again, that's probably the third comic that I have because I got it originally and stuff. So that is cool. Next up, we have a Red Sonja or Sonja. I don't know which, how you pronounce exactly comic. And it's signed. And it's of course a band box exclusive. Exclusive, and it's done by um, Dynamite Entertainment. And it says that. Um, Dynamite Entertainment has issued a certificate of authenticity of or of this copy of Red Sonja number zero, um, Bayam Box Exclusive Edition, as one of a specially a specially limited series of copies signed by Amy Chu. So I guess it's the author, whatever the first name up here, is the one who signed that. So that's really cool. Um, next we have a picture, and it's of um, some okay. So it's like a um, samurai guy, but it looks like Boba Fett kind of by the like face design there and stuff. Um, but other than, other than that, I don't know. I guess he does have the little Mandalorian logo. I don't know if you can see it's got the um, like little beast thing with the horns on the side of its head and stuff. So that's really cool. Of course, um, I don't know if they have those uh, like statue figures that they make of the Star Wars characters as samurai versions and stuff. So that's what this reminds me of. And this is signed, so I uh, feel it's probably the artist, but again, um, I'll look in the book thing and see for sure. So that is awesome. And then the last thing we got looks like a picture from maybe Smallville? Or no, probably something more serious recently. But it's a picture of Stargirl, and who's the other person, bro? Obsidian. Obsidian. there. So that's probably from what the... Um, Legends tomorrow. There you, go. there you go. So I know there was Star Girl and Small Girl, or something with Star. So that's really cool too, and it is signed there by I assume one person. There's two separate things, but I assume it's just one person. So we'll go in here and look. So of course, there's the pins that we could have got. So all of them are Captain America related, but I'm super glad we got the Captain America. Oh no, we want the Bucky Barnes one. Yeah, the Bucky's cool. It's kind of like Jon Snow. It says Winter is coming. So that's cool. I don't know what the ca let's see if it says. Nope, it doesn't. Cause they they all have like like the Bucky Barnes is like Jon Snow, and then there's the octopus or the Hydra, 
logo and it's like a got a smiley face on it. So I thought, I assume that Captain America has something to do with something, but I don't know what it is. Um, then we got, okay. So of course then we got the um, Vader comic, which it says there was a black and white variant, but it doesn't look like we got it. Then it looks like you could have got some other knives or swords or whatever there. I don't know what they are. I don't know if it says on here. It just talks about knives. I don't know. But the knives are really cool. I don't know. I assume that if they were swords, they would have been real small. So you couldn't really have done anything with it. But it's still cool. You so a really big band box. Yeah. Um, then there's the Boba Fett Prince, which there are two different ones. So you could have had the color or the black and white of either one. And of course we got the black and white, the more limited edition. But the colors look really cool though. It, you could definitely tell by the color of ones that it's definitely Boba Fett where I kind of struggle. Um, but both of those are really cool. But any of them are also... I kind of like the top one more because it also has the uh, Mandalorian logo in the background and stuff too. Then we have... So the next month is Anniversary is the theme. Doesn't look like there's any hints to it. Then we have the Red um, Sonia, of course, that was signed, the comic, and then we have the Sarah Gray um, Star Girl. So that's who signed this, and I assume she probably plays Star Girl. Yeah, who plays Star Girl in Legends of Tomorrow, which is correct. And then, oh, I guess that's it. And then it looks like they're also doing a giveaway for um, Aragorn's sword from Lord of the Rings, which is really cool have to see what that says and possibly do it because it would be awesome to have that sword. So that's going to be it for this box this month. What was your favorite item out of it, bro? The throwing knives. Throwing knives. I assume that bro's a connoisseur of knives. We have knives everywhere. Now we have two more unsheathed knives to <laughs> put somewhere. But those are really cool knives. They're super nice. They're probably not very uh, um, durable or anything, but they still look really awesome. I actually take that back. My favorite thing probably the box because everything in there is really cool except for the comics like I could do without those but yeah all the artwork and the knives and the pen were just really good yeah so. this was a better box than last month I mean the comics are nice like if I didn't have this this would be nice but I already have two of them already so now there's a third and then like Red Sonja I'm never gonna read Red Sonja or anything um, but it's cool that it's signed, but like, yeah, this picture, it's not anything super amazing, but it's still a cool, like, superhero thing, so anything superhero and stuff we like. So this is useful, and it's cool that it's signed, and this is just an awesome picture that I'm probably going to put up somewhere and stuff. Then, of course, got my Captain America pin that I'm going to use, and then, of course, the Dangerous Knives that I'm going to end up cutting myself with, probably. I don't know. Uh, but that's going to be it for this, um, band box. So the theme was Legends, I don't know if I ever said anything which I somewhat thought it was something about legend or something like that um, so that's gonna be it for this box be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed leave any comments you have down below hit the red subscribe button to check out all our unboxings and we will see you next time